Hi everybody, my name is Alex Ritz. I'm a certified professional dog trainer and in this video I wanted to talk to, to you a little bit about how to properly store your dog's food. So whether you're feeding dry dog food or wet dog food, there's appropriate ways to store that food to ensure that it stays viable and healthy and you know good for your dogs. So if you are feeding a dry dog food, you should try your best to keep it stored in the original bag it came in. If you dump it directly into a plastic container, the plastic can kind of absorb those oils and fats and it's not going to keep it as sealed nicely as it would in that original bag. If you want to have a you know container for it I have one for my dog so it rolls out and tucks away easily um, just put that entire bag of food in there and then roll the top and seal it that way you still have the benefit of that container hiding that bag of food keeping your dog from getting into it but you don't have that you know disadvantage of the plastic or other material that the container is made out of absorbing all those things that we would like to stay in the food like the fats and oils if you feed your dogs wet food and you don't feed them an entire can at a time, you'll want to seal that top of that can or seal that pouch and put it in the fridge. Once you open wet food, whether it's in a can or in a pouch, it should be refrigerated promptly after opening and any uneaten portion that the dog doesn't eat for that meal should be tossed. With kibble, it's okay, you know, if it, a meal or two um, to take them to eat it, but you don't want to leave kibble out for days on end either once you've put it in a bowl, exposed it to the environment and, you know, any heat and humidity and all that fun stuff too. In general, you'll want to avoid storing wet or dry food at temperatures that are really, really warm as that can start to break down the nutrients that are in the food and cause the food to spoil more quickly. For more tips and tricks, check us out at houndgames.com and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks!